All right, hello and welcome to my Funko Star Wars collection. Um, this will probably be a little mini series because there is quite a lot. Now you've probably seen some of them already in the inside of the Men Cave Room Tour. So first up, we're going to have a look at just my out of the box ones first um, collection. So let's take a look at this big boy, Jabba the Hutt Funko Pop. So, here we have him. Um, he's got some nice detail to him. He's got his uh, tongue hanging out. Um, this is the back part to him. Now, I've never been a massive fan of the bobblehead Funko Pops. Because they're just... Uh, I don't know. I always find them a little bit flimsy. So, uh, as much as I do love Star Wars... If I had to, like, I would rather not have them as a uh, bobblehead, but he's still good though. So there we have it, there is Jabba the Hutt. Alright, next up on our list, uh, people of Star Wars Rebels, the animated series, will definitely know this character, and he is Chopper. So let's have a look. Alright, so there is Chopper. Now, majority of the Star Wars Funko Pops comes with these cool Star Wars stands, which are always pretty cool. Um, so he's got his little two hands on that side. Um, but yeah, nice little details to him. So yeah, a really cool little character. Alright, next up we have... Captain Phasma. This is the Force Awakens uh, version. Uh, so let's have a look. And the bobblehead is already going shaking. So there is Captain Phasma. She's got a cloak that covers majority of her um, suit. Yeah, a nice little pop. Um, I like sort of the the silver lining to it really gives it a nice shine and yeah cool little phasma but she doesn't have a droid so don't worry battlefront 2 fans <laughs> all right next up we have the coolest bounty hunter in the galaxy and that is boba fett funko pop so there he is um his head's very wobbly, as you can probably see. Um, he's got his nice jetpack there. Um, but yeah, a cool little uh, figurine. I've always, I always loved Boba Fett. I think ever since I saw him, um, he's probably one of my favorite characters in the Star Wars saga. So there is Boba Fett. All right, now heading back to The Force Awakens, we have Kylo Ren. So this pop is a really nice design. Um, first up, we've got his uh, lightsaber at the front, uh, the cloaked mask, and then sort of, you can see sort of the robe textures at the back, but um, a really nice pop that I actually really like for, of Kylo Ren. Now yeah, next up, of course, we have to have Darth Vader. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Um, now, this Vader pop, like I think he was the first Vader pop um, version of Funko. I'm pretty sure. I'm not not hundred percent sure. But yeah, there's nothing too um, interesting. Uh, but yeah, he's got his red lightsaber. And yeah, very cool. Very cool piece. So, we're going to take a look at this beauty. It was from the Star Wars 40th Anniversary uh, Collection. And it is the Darth Vader with TIE Fighter Funko Pop. So let's open this bad boy up so first up let's look at the packaging um, start the Funko Pop logo Star Wars there 
40th anniversary. There he is in there. Beside him there. And then a nice little um, other ones that you can collect as well. Okay, well, let's open him up. Alright, so we now have him out of the box. So let's take a closer look. So first up, this is an actually very awesome piece. Now if you notice, uh, I'm hoping you guys can see it on camera, but Vader has his red eyes from Rogue One and uh, New Hope. So this is his TIE Fighter. Uh, that base plate is of course the Death Star little view from here on the side back part but overall a really cool uh, looking figurine from Funko to celebrate the uh, 40th anniversary now sorry his uh, bubble head is moving like crazy um, but yeah so I thought I'd just give you guys a quick look Darth Vader. Um, now another main thing to mention of course is the TIE Fighter looks pretty cool. Um, this has, does have a little bit of wear and tear because it is quite old. It's from a couple of years ago this Funko so I've had them in the box for a little while. Um, but yeah the design of the actual TIE Fighter looks pretty cool. Um, Bubblehead does move around a little bit too much, but it's manageable. Um, and it's got a really nice shiny finish for his helmet, which looks pretty, um, pretty cool. So, uh, there is Vader and his TIE Fighter. Alright, next up, well, we can't have Vader without his master. Here is Emperor Palpatine. In hologram form. So there he is. This is a cool little place. I think this one glows in the dark as well, but I'm not sure. But there is Mr. Pelps. All right, finally, we have one of my favorite Funko Star Wars pieces. It's Darth Vader from Return of the Jedi slash Anakin Skywalker. Let's have a look. So first up, there he is. So he's got, of course, the, the bottom half of him is pretty much the same as my other Star Wars Vader Funko Pop. But the head is actually pretty cool. So they've got all the scarring there, the scarring on top of his head. And yeah, so that's a cool little Funko Pop. And that does it for my Star Wars Funko, Clo Funko Collection Part 1, and I will see you guys next time.